Praise the Lord, Saints. Today we're going to be going over automatic grace and um, automatic Holy Ghost that was preached by Billy Graham and that's being preached by a lot of the Baptist churches and the Catholic Church as well, even though they believe in baptism. Okay, first we're going to go here to Colossians 3.17. It says, Whatsoever ye do, in word or in deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. So, whatsoever you do in word or in deed means what? That means whatever you do in word or in deed. A baptism is a deed. So you should be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. They do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, right? So we should be baptizing in Jesus' name because Colossians 3.17 tells us to. Okay. Do it hardly unto the Lord. It's a nice page I cleaned up here. I I mean, I colored. Okay. So we're going to go to Acts 38. Really fast here for you. All right. We're going to go here to Luke. A man said, show me in the Bible where it says you got to repent of your sins in order to go to heaven. And it says, seriously, this is the great commission for me. It's synonymous with Acts 38, Mark 16, 15. The original Mark, uh, Matthew 28, 19. It says, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. So, you know, yeah, you got to repent of your sins in Jesus' name in order to be saved. All righty. So we're going to speed up here to Mark. That's beautiful. I, I colored that page. That's so beautiful. You get this Bible. It's about $40 now. I bought, I bought it. It was like $32, $33, something like that. It was in the 30s. The low 30s, not the high 30s. Oh, so for God to love the world. If you believe in Jesus, you need to get baptized in his name. Obey his holy word. Amen. I colored that beautiful page right there. So beautiful. All righty. Here we are. I got colored the cross too. So beautiful. Okay, I'm in John again. My fault. It's beautiful though. Alrighty. I'm going to Luke. I'm oh, sorry, not Luke. Mark. Alrighty. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved. He that believes not shall be damned. If you believe, you get baptized, right? And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay on hands on the sick, and they shall recover. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into glory, into heaven, and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them, and confirming the word with signs following. Amen. So, basically, if, if you are a believer, you will speak a new tongue. Jesus said, and these signs shall follow them that believe. If you are a believer, you will speak in tongues like Jesus said. Do not believe other people in, who say that. Who say that, oh no, that's a gift. No, that is, a, that is something you're going to do when you get the Holy Spirit of God. We're going to go to Acts here. Because Jesus said it. And if Jesus said it, it is so. Go with Jesus in your life. Don't go with nobody else. I don't care what your Baptist minister said. He's a, the devil is a liar. You know, you better better tell him he's the devil. Alrighty. Three thousand are converted. Now when they're preaching their heart. I'm saying now when they heard this, they're preaching their heart. And said to Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said to them, Repent, and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you and to your children, and to all that are far off. Even as many as Lord our God shall call. So you need baptized in Jesus' name, and it's real pretty. You should repent, be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. So please get born again of water and the Spirit. John 3 5 says, Okay, and John 3 5 says, Don't go to John here. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Praise the Lord. So you are done, right? That's my little saying right there. We're going to let y'all is not screaming. Oh, Lord, have mercy. All right. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, is born of spirit is spirit. Marvel, if I said he's born again. The wind blow where it listens, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell when it com cometh and whether it goeth. So is everyone that's born of the Spirit. 
So Jesus said he was born again of water and of spirit. So please get baptized in Jesus' name. Alrighty? Alright, in Jesus' name, amen.